we have our reel here and I'm going to show you how to rig up your line, um, how to put the backing on, how to put your fly line on, how to put on the tapered leader and the tippet and what knots you're going to use. So a few things to keep in mind with your reel. Most reels are set up for right hand dominant and um, if, you're, if you are right hand dominant you're actually going to reel in with your left hand in this direction. If you're a lefty you're going to want to reverse the reel and most reels come with instructions on how to reverse them um, so that the drag is going the opposite direction. You can hear the drag clicking there. Um, so this is, I'm, I'm right hand dominant so we're going to retrieve it right handed which is important as you put on the line to make sure that you are retrieving it the correct direction. So most of the, most reels have a spool that you can pull off. I'm going to go ahead and pull that off just so you can see what I'm doing a little easier with the backing. Now this here is an example of some uh, 20 pound backing and you're going to use the arbor knot to get it to attach to your fly reel here. So I'm just going to wrap it around a couple of times just to give it a little extra friction as we're reeling it in. And then the arbor knot, you're just going to tie an overhand knot onto the post part of the line here. Just like so, okay? So you're basically tying a slip knot, okay? And then you're just gonna tie another overhand knot in the tag end itself. That way, if for whatever reason, the line starts to slip through the slip knot, this will catch and keep you from losing everything. So I'm gonna take my nippers here and cut that little tag end off. Okay, and then because it's a slip knot, it should snug right up there onto the reel. All right, I'm gonna put that reel back together and then start to retrieve the line. Now you can see here that as I'm retrieving the line, I actually want the line to be underneath this guard. So I'm gonna pop this off again and just make sure that that line is coming in from the bottom, just like that, okay? So we're going to reel on the backing and again, you can go to a local fly shop um, and they'll get you set up with, with all the backing that you need. They even have a little machine to put it on here. Um, but as you're putting this on, if you're doing it by hand, just make sure that you're keeping the line taut so that you don't have um, any slack in the line. And you're going to want to make sure that the line goes on evenly on the spool so it's not all bunched up on one end. And then a good rule of thumb is you want to put enough backing on that um, it builds up the base of your fly reel. Um, but you don't want to put so much on that you can't get on your fly line um, without it running into that guard there at the top. All right, now you can see here that if I take my finger and I put it in here, it's about a finger's width that I've built up with that backing. It's about as far as you want to go to make sure that you've got enough line there for the, the fly, for the fly line to go on there. 